We can now prepare the bridge for milling in Dent Mill. The first step is to define the stock. In this case we will use a zirconia disc and add a scaling factor of 1.25. We can load the bridge into Dent Mill by selecting the Dent CAD Parts option. We then choose the bridge model file. The bridge is loaded, including the preparation lines and the part is centered and the scaling factor is applied. To complete the setup, support pins will be added to hold the part during milling. I will choose from the selection of profiles a 2mm diameter pin. Using the horizon shading to assist me, I will position four pins on the part. They are created by simply picking the part where you want the pin to be placed. The part is now almost ready for machining. The final setup stage will be to position the part in the stock. Using the cam manager we can manually position or rotate the part. We can add engraving detail to the part. And this text can be easily modified. We can also move the text to a more suitable position in the stock. We can also use automatic nesting to position the part in the most efficient place in the stock. A setup sheet is automatically being generated and you can add shade detail and also colour the part for clarity when printing. Here you can see a preview of the printed document and note that the stock is printed one to one to help identify finished parts. We are now ready to calculate the toolpaths. To do this, we select a machining template and also enter the name for the NC program. The toolpaths and NC programs are automatically generated.
Once the toolpaths are calculated, then we can view and simulate the milling operations. We can see a roofing toolpath rest machining toolpath and finishing toolpath. We'll take a closer look and simulate the prep line finishing. The total machining time is also displayed.